Hey guys, Brady here. Five collection videos. Go watch the other four, but today, Wii U. The terrible console that never sold it well, at least in its last few months of being on store shelves. It was pretty bad. Because of all the updates it had to have, and some of the games were not as good, like Meme Run. Who remembers Meme Run? That terrible, terrible, terrible Wii U game. But, the good Wii U games are in my collection. So, let's start off with round one. Super small stack of games. Um, Rayman Legends. Um, definitely a really good game. Um, definitely a big step from Origins, which, I mean, especially the fact that it's still using the Ubi Art framework, but that, that's definitely a good part. And also it has Mario skins too, like Pergola Box and Rayman. Um, Disney Infinity 3.0, go watch my Disney Infinity retrospective video, um, I also have the second and first one, I just decided to include just this one because this one is better than all the other ones, so there's that, Paper Mario Color Splash, not good, why is this game not good, I loved it when it came out, the graphics really really clean, but the gameplay mechanics are terrible and tedious, the cards? No, 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 sir. That is not how you make a Sticker Star sequel. Make Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door Remastered. Come on. I mean, everybody wants that. Uh, Lego Batman 2, the Super Bill Super Heroes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this one, this game actually had a great hub world and a lot of awesome characters, but it actually had a very small library of characters due to it being such a big game. But as for Lego Batman 3 <laughs> um, Beyond Gotham, I actually saw the trailer for this game, um, and it looked really good. But the hub worlds are not interesting enough. I mean, Gotham City is nowhere to be found in this game. Only the Batcave, which is really, really stupid. But at least it had an amazing library of characters, including um, all of these characters, all the Lantern Corps. That's really awesome. But yeah. <laughs> Moving on to round two. Um, so, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. This game is ten times better than the sequel because this game is, I know it's low in quality, but it's really awesome. And plus, it advertises Deadpool a little too much. <laughs> Gotta get, you, had, you, had, you had to get ready for that new movie that was coming out. <laughs> um, Lego Dimensions. It's very tedious to buy all these packs. Do not play this on the Wii U. Play that on the PS4. <laughs> because I can guarantee you, it's better on the PS4. <laughs> um, Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympics. Not good. Why isn't it good? Rugby Sevens was the only good thing along with boxing. There you go. I said it. I mean, the graphics are awesome. The Some of the minigames can get very annoying, but the worst part about it is that some of the special characters are tied to specific ev events. Why can't I play as Nabbit um, in Rugby Sevens? Why can't I play as Diddy Kong in um, Rhythmic Gymnastics? Um, Mario Kart 7. I have this on the Switch too. First, Mario Kart to have downloadable content, and I've sat on that. So, um, Mario Party 10, very mediocre, but at least it introduced us to a Bowser mode. I never got to experience it, actually. But I did at one point, one specific point, I believe. I can't remember, but one thing for sure, it was a great game. And next, we have a few very mixed batch of games. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, really wish I had, um... Yeah, the Wind Waker HD. Um, sorry. Uh, but this game fixed so many of the problems that the GameCube version had. Not to say that the GameCube version was bad. It was actually really good. Um, but this one is definitely definitive. If you want to go for classic Zelda from the GameCube era, this is what you get. And plus, there's Twilight Princess HD, which I really wish I had. Um, Super Mario 3D World. Nintendo? Bring this game to the Switch! Or else, I will hunt you down. This game is awesome! And I know that Mario Maker 2 has a 3D world style, but this is what we need. A full 3D Mario game. If not that, at least make a game called Super Mario 2D Land. Like a 2.5D side-scrolling platformer, that would be awesome. Wipeout, Create and Crash. Wipeout 3, this is way better than Wipeout 3, actually. Wipeout 3 is awful, but this is wonderful. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. 
Settle it and smash. Who remembers those terrible commercials? Well, not terrible. They were pretty cinematic at times. Like, ah, woo! The one where the guy was like, ah, he was transforming into Donkey Kong. That was my favorite one. <laughs> um, but this is a good game. It definitely defines the competitive scene for Smash Brothers. I'm not competitive. I'm a casual guy. I don't give a crap about tournaments. But I attend it. I, I usually sometimes care about them. Not, not a lot, but still. Uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. This show is just terrible. This show is bad. It's cliche. It's cheesy. Nonsensical. Stupid. This The show has no brains. It doesn't know how to make a perfect cartoon. Unlike the Pac-Land cartoon, which, which had brains and had the um, strength to make that cartoon, and they made it, it was good. But this, the show is terrible. The game is pretty good, actually. It's definitely trying to replicate the Pac-Man world style of games. The show is terrible. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, honestly, the characters were really forgettable, but the only characters that I definitely remember were, um, Spiral and Betrayus. <laughs> I was gonna quote Spiral first, but I was like, oh, wait, I want to quote Betrayus first. Like, <laughs> get those fat brains. Um, but as for Spiral, I'm like, hey, Baxter, look at this awesome cheeseburger that I found. <laughs> Let's make a bunch of fart jokes in our show. No, <laughs> Skylanders, Imaginators. Um, so many Skylanders games on the Wii U. I have a bunch of them, actually. I have, I have Trap Team, Giant, Swap Force, all on the Wii U, except for Superchargers. I have Superchargers on the Xbox 360, but this is a really good game, actually. I mean, it's got Crash Bandicoot and Dr. Cortex. It's definitely good. I sadly don't have enough Creation Crystals um, to make my Skylander army and triumph over chaos. All right, last stack. Let's do this. Mediocre? Not mediocre? Let me know. I'm gonna switch things around so you guys don't see the other ones. Um, Game and Wario, not as good as the mainline series, but it's still but it's still pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, some of the mini games were pretty cliche and nonsensical at times, but definitely the humor is still there. Best game ever? Really? Um, Tech and Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. I honestly got this for the Nintendo costumes. <laughs> but this is actually a really good fighting game. Um, Tekken... I know I know most of you have preferred Tekken 7, but this is a great game other than Tekken 7. If you want to have another good game besides Tekken 7, buy this. Um, on Xbox 360 or PS3 or Wii. I don't care. But Adventure Time, Explode Dungeon, because I don't know. It's a great Zelda ripoff. <laughs> yeah, it's a Zelda ripoff. Um, and it's actually got great artwork too, done by Way Forward themselves, as you can see right there. Way Forward, Way Forward makes a lot of good games like uh, River City Girls, Mighty Switch Force, and Shante, all that jazz. But I wish they actually published this game instead of um, made, did the artwork for it, <laughs> because Way Forward makes the best games ever, best indie games ever, by the way. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transformed. It's got Wreck It Ralph and Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick is done racing. Well, this was from uh, the this was from 2013, I believe. Yeah, 2012. Um, but this is a go. This is the greatest racing game ever. Honestly, having three different vehicle types. Well done, Sega. Do another racing game. Wait, they already did T Team Sonic Racing. Ugh, that's terrible. Um, but this needs to be done again. Sega All Stars needs to come back in the form of either a fighting game or another racing game. Or a party game, that would actually be cool. Um, so, and finally, ending it off, my only copy of Super Mario Maker. I actually had the, um, the poster that came with this. I got the special edition for the Mario Maker, and I got the poster as well as a little scrapbook. But yeah. Look at that. That's perfect, isn't it? Of course it is. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which, what I should do next. Standard DVD collection, because... Oh, also, Christmas is coming up, so what I got for Christmas is coming. Don't worry. Anyways, sign our peeps. Take care. Catch you. See you guys next time.